You will notice, ladies and gentlemen, that anyone who has been closely following the full driving beta will notice that the rate of disengagements has been declining quickly. A disengagement occurs when a driver intervenes to stop the car from doing something that could be dangerous, so the number of interventions per million miles has been declining dramatically at some point. The trend indicates that next year will. See a significant decline in the probability of an accident on FSD, which is less than that of the average human. It's finally time for Tesla's fully autonomous vehicles to take center stage as investors have been impatiently awaiting. The launch of version 12 began yesterday night and Elon Musk appears to think so. The excitement is evident and the early response points to a huge success. This isn't simply the initial feedback from the regular beta testers either. With the release, Tesla has adopted an unpredictable strategy. We're delving into robotics and artificial intelligence AI to give insights into this groundbreaking advancement. But before we do, please like this video. A lot of drivers are reporting smoother, more human-like driving, and the cars are managing edge cases better than ever. And let's get started by subscribing to Tesla Stock News immediately. Users are reporting smoother operation and improved acceleration with Tesla's version 12 of its full self-driving software which is making waves in the automotive industry. It's a significant improvement to the whole driving experience. V12 is unique because of its adaptive navigation features. The technology exhibits exceptional flexibility while maneuvering through diverse situations, such as seamlessly navigating through speed bumps or boldly approaching stop signs. This adaptability is evidence of Tesla's dedication to improving autonomous driving technology, but preliminary user comments present a mixed picture with some applauding the system's improvements, others observe. The hesitancy, especially when there are green lights, this demonstrates the continued difficulties in developing autonomous driving technology and emphasizes the necessity of constant improvement in spite of these difficulties. Tesla is moving forward with its goals for growth. With the launch of V12 in Canada and beyond, autonomous driving technology is expected to become more widely available. This. Development presents new prospects for Tesla and its customers as they look to the future. There's a lot of optimism. There is enthusiasm about V12's potential despite the early obstacles and expectations for additional improvements and developments in the FSD program are strong. Laying the foundation for ultimate attainment of complete autonomy, although there are still obstacles to be solved, the future appear. S. Bright with Tesla's V12 FSD leading the way towards safer, more effective, and eventually fully autonomous driving experiences, Let's examine the main points of this development. First thing, version 12 is reportedly rolling out to staff members in specific groups on February 1st, according to Tesla Scope, a program that many Tesla. A customer's used to track upgrades. The randomized distribution that includes both hardware three and hardware four setups is noteworthy. This is not how the beta testing procedure is usually conducted. Before we get farther with it, let me ask you what you think of this. Tesla Scope has confirmed that the update is now available for vehicles outside of California, which is a big step forward. This implies that Tesla has allayed early worries and is confident in expanding distribution. The fact that they're prepared to grant access is encouraging. Beyond reliable evaluators, in addition to being able to cover a wider geographic area in the US, version 12 has received overwhelmingly good first feedback. Um, which is to be expected considering the switch from the Hertica network architecture and the fact that it is resolving many difficulties that were. Previously present, it's an exciting time for Tesla and autonomous driving enthusiasts alike as version 12 appears to address numerous pain points offering improved performance and handling edge cases that previous versions struggled with. However, there's still room for discovery regarding new failure modes and users will need time to fully explore these new nuances. Elon Musk is upbeat, and suggests that this might be a turning point. An astute observer of Tesla updates forecasts a breakthrough in autonomous driving that could rival the ChatGPT moment. Elon's support for this viewpoint heightens the anticipation for the release. At first, opinions were divided. One of the first users to test version 12 on February 1st outside of Tesla employees, Omar, expressed disappointment, describing it as sluggish and hesitant in comparison to earlier iterations. However, it's important to note that early versions frequently err on the caution rain, which could also be a contributing factor as it presents a unique challenge for the system, requiring a more cautious approach to ensure safety and expanding the user base to random beta testers. Finding a balance between prudent deployment and user happiness is the aim. Tesla AI Girl, who received version January 2nd, 12.
talks about her great experience and highlights enhancements to acceleration and stop sign recognition. The variety of user experiences highlights how difficult it is to distribute updates across various versions. Let's now investigate a few edge cases. Arthur's demonstration of version 12's U-turn. Capabilities highlights the system's learning capabilities. Risk Jane and Exam, the AI developer notes that this capability evolved naturally from the AI's comprehension of human driving behavior rather than being expressly designed. This self-learning feature speeds up the incorporation of new capabilities and improves system safety overall. An additional AI driver user claims for version 12's handling of a big dip in the road, a situation that was previously difficult for the algorithm. This flexible approach to real-world difficulties denotes a substantial take a step forward Omar's experience with version 12, which uses AI to handle difficult driving circumstances, highlights the system's growth even more. Essentially, version 12 represents a paradigm change in autonomous driving. These practical examples show how adaptable and continuously improving systems are, paving the way for safer and more effective driving experiences in the future. In his first impressions, Arthur from X praises the seamless operation and enhanced performance compared to earlier iterations. Arthur is generally impressed with version 12's capabilities, even with a small hiccup at a stop sign. He experienced flawless navigation around speed bumps and greater freeway acceleration. Let's watch his video to see it in action. As we watched Arthur drive, we noticed the smooth operation and seamless acceleration, especially in the Sacramento area of California. However, there is a noticeable change to the scroll. Wheel is no longer functional to disable the nag, which is a major disappointment for many users. As Arthur stops at a three-way stop sign, we see cautious, perhaps excessive behavior given the system waits longer than anticipated in addition to being safety focused. This increased caution may irritate customers who are, who are used to receiving responses more quickly. On to user feedback, Francis talks about his good. Experiences with version 12, emphasizing its enhanced acceleration and seamless functioning. Similarly, SAC commends the system's flexibility, especially in construction zones where it gently modifies speed and reaction to uneven surfaces. Pete trains another user, an anonymous follower of FS provides mixed input, pointing out that while there have been some changes, the system still occasionally crashes, albeit less frequently than in the past. Um, Pete draws attention to a number of important points. One of which is the wife test, which emphasizes the value of getting acceptance from less seasoned users. This highlights the need of giving confidence to all users, not just seasoned testers. Although there is always room for development, version 12 success ultimately rests in its capacity to mimic human driving behavior by learning from real world scenarios. Unquestionably, the systems project is making progress towards safer and more user-friendly autonomous driving experiences in the future. Another. User shares their first drive with us using version 12. They mention that there are some changes like improved acceleration and smoother running. There's also a trace of hesitancy in some situations, such as traffic signals. Let's watch the video to see how it works in action. As we watch the drive, we observe a cautious approach that may have been influenced by the rain. The vehicle wipers now have neural despite these. Little setbacks, nets tend to be less effective, which increases the difficulties caused by bad weather, although there have been some instances of hesitation, particularly at green lights, which require further refinement. Early user feedback indicates overall satisfaction with version 12. Many users are impressed with its smoothness and handling of edge cases, such as navigating through speed bumps and stop signs with confidence. Despite these challenges, users remain optimistic about the potential of V12 and the broader FSD program Beyond the initial rollout, Tesla is focused on expanding the availability of V12, demonstrating its commitment to furthering autonomous driving technology. Users appreciate the improvements in performance and the system's ability to handle various driving scenarios with ease. The system's adaptability is commendable. The announcement of plans to implement FSD in Canada and beyond represents a major advancement in the democratic use of autonomous driving technology. This expansion will give more users access to the most recent developments in FSD, which will speed up its adoption even more as users continue to offer feedback and Tesla improves the software. With each update, users' expectations for the future of autonomous driving grow. With the release of FSD, um, V12 is getting closer to reaching complete autonomy, ensuring safer and more effective driving experiences for all Tesla drivers. In light of Rohan Patel's response, that may be moving toward making FS available outside of the U.S. market. Going forward, there are a few important things to keep an eye on. First, the rate at which updates are released will show how well the system is performing. Second, the number of beta. 
Testers will grow in third. The system's geographic availability will reveal how well it adapts to various driving conditions. Lastly, the idea of the ChatGPT moment. Is fascinating, it describes a notable rise in the number of users undergoing FSD, possibly made possible by a free trial or a discounted membership fee. While it's still early days for version 12, initial impressions are optimistic as upgrades continue and availability widens will closely track its evolution toward gaining full autonomy. Such. A milestone would demonstrate confidence in the system's safety and might pave the path for wider adoption. We appreciate you coming along for this informative tour of Tesla's FSD V12 rollout. From first impressions to fascinating updates, it's evident that autonomous driving is here to stay. Before we wrap up, let's quickly review version 12. Programs expansion into Canada and beyond signals promising growth. However, what lies ahead will the chat GPT moment usher in a new era of widespread adoption of FSD and how will Tesla overcome compute constraints to achieve full autonomy by the end of the year? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button. Pay attention and drive carefully.